Oh, that's huge. That's huge. Hey, good morning, everybody. Kane here, back with another video. Uh, here at Folly Beach today. And we are going to see if we can catch us a pompano today. That is the goal to catch a pompano. It's going to be using the old shrimp and fish bite today. I think for now, for starters this morning, on this one, I'm just going to use this huge piece of shrimp on this whiting rig here. Nice little chunk of shrimp. It's a beautiful morning. Actually, it is high tide right now. It's about to be the peak of high tide, so we're gonna see if we can get into something. We got this pink Salty's Pompano rig right here on the medium pole. And I probably will throw a fish bite on one of these. Just to get a little bit different bait in the water, you know. Uh, I think I'm going to do... You know what? Let's do it on the top one. It is high tide. And the waves are getting pretty high. So yeah, we'll try the top one first. Oh wow, he got hooked up on something good over there. Whoa, what is that? That got to be a stingray. Yeah, he's, that, that has to be a stingray. It's... All right, so on this little single drop pompano rig, just got a piece of shrimp. I'll go ahead and throw a, a fish bite on that one. Yeah, that guy's been fighting that for a minute. Uh, I assume it's just going to be a stingray. Looks like he's getting stuck on the sand out there. Decent sized stingray guy. All right, let's get these poles in the water. Uh, it's high tide, so there's a lot of sandbars out here. But we're not going to throw this uh, small rod too far. Uh, maybe we'll. Get... All right, and for this one, we got just a piece of shrimp on that bottom, on this bottom float here. all kinds of messed up i'll have to fix that on the next one go ahead and get this out there all right hopefully there's no stingrays out here in the water i try to get that one past the first sandbar but oh well we'll try it out All right, for this one, I got a little bit, maybe too light of a weight on there. I think it's a, yeah, it's a, it's a four. I don't know, it might be good enough, but we're gonna try to get this one out a little bit further. See if there's any bigger whiting out there. Uh, maybe I'll do something. All right, guys, I think I missed that whole thing, but we just landed this nice whiting. Oh, he's got to flip off. All right, first fish of the day. Let's get him back. He's a little bit too big to cut up, so I'm going to get him back. And it's early. Bye, bud. All right, guys, this is uh, that whiting rig I was talking about. And we just landed that dude. Nice. Oh, he's got it. I think he's still on there. Oh yeah, he's still on there. Oh yeah. Hopefully the fish bite is hot this morning because they, yeah, I only think it's been five minutes since we had these poles out there and we're already getting bit. This could be the second fish of the day. 
see. Oh no, it's not on there. That was quick. All right, that current out there is getting pretty strong, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some Spugnet four ounce weights on. Just get to stay out there. hooked up i was actually reeling this one in put a spung nut on there but then we got hit uh, seems like a good fit oh, he's running might be a pompano what are you uh what is that i foul hooked a pig fish wow wouldn't that be perfectly baited for for a, for a shark or something. Wow, look at that. That is crazy. All right, chill out, bud. I foul hooked it. Right in the top. All right, bud. Well, hopefully he makes it. I'm pretty sure he will. I didn't think he got his spinal or brain. He's still flipping around. Yeah, there he goes. Get him back in the water. That's pretty funny. Bye, bud. Got hooked up on this one right here, guys. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, he's still fighting. I think that spugnet's getting caught on those sandbars. Gonna be a whiting. Is that a little bitty whiting? Yep, he's gonna be cut bait. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep this guy for cut bait. Let's get him in the cooler. Oh, well, uh, I had my uh, back turned and started getting a hit on that pole. I'm try to get this one back out there before I get another bite on something. Might need to check that big white pole. That hasn't been hit in a while. Probably no bait on there. <laughs> Can't go far at all. But honestly, guys, uh, if you have your pole out there and you're just fishing with like shrimp or something, and it's been about 10 minutes go ahead and reel that thing in if you're fishing with some if you're fishing with like shrimp or something and it's been about 10 minutes and you hadn't had no bite or nothing reel that pole in and check your bait because most likely it either one the current knocked it off or two you just got it stolen you know it's always good to always check your poles not just leave them out there it's good to stay patient but Patient only goes so far. All right, just got hooked up again. It's probably a whiting. That damn spugnet. Oh, it's stuck. Oh. Try to get over that sandbar. Tighten the drag. Oh, yeah, there it goes. That's the one thing about spug. Now, I got... These ones are too heavy for this fishing that I'm doing, but... 
I don't know. It's doing the job for now. What we got? Is that nice? What's that? Oh, a bluefish. Check it out. That's a nice little bluefish. I'm going to take a guess and say that's about the size you would like to keep. That looks like a decent size. I know they get way bigger than this. Let me grab them. Right. Check out that guy. Cool little bluefish. Yeah, if y'all guys eat these and y'all tried them, let me know in the comments because I see people catch them all the time and they eat them and I heard they're really oily. So just let me out. You just gotta let it bleed out before you cook it or what? Right, let's get them back. See you, buddy. All right guys, so we readjusted. That tide is coming down. So we uh, readjusted, got closer to the uh, surf here. And I am excited for low tide because that's the best success I had out here was fishing during low tide. And it's supposed to be pretty nice today. It's supposed to be like in the 80s. Or it's in the 80s right now. I think it's supposed to get in the 90s actually today. But yes. I'm excited. This is usually the best time. Whenever that tide is going down. So what I'm going to try to do. As you can see where that sandbar is out there. And it just comes all the way down. You see those waves out there starting to form. That's where that sandbar is right there where they just roll over and i'm gonna try to get past that and hopefully that's where the pompano are That was a good hit right there. This might be a nice whiting. He really bent that pole right there. Oh, they, oh nice little man. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, get up here, bud. Nice one. Oh, he's not that big. What is, oh, that's a blue fish. Another blue. That's, He's about the same size as that last one. Uh, he went for the fish bite, actually. Get this dude off. Be careful with these fish guys because they do have some teeth. So if you catch one of these guys and you try to whip them, good luck. Mount out of there. Got that. Awesome. He bent the heck out of that pole, though. Nice little bluefish. Get him back. It's not a bad day. His fish bite is pretty good. Bye, buddy. Bye. He's, oh yeah, he's on there, huh? Oh yeah. Wow, 
Watch that be a pompano. I swear, if you took a nap and just to catch a pompano. Oh no. Wait, come on. Oh no, he's swimming. That might be a pompano. Get it up Go here. Get it up here. Oh, it is. It's a pompano. Let's go. That's huge. That's huge. Let's go. I swear you took a nap for an hour just to catch a dang pompano. That's a monster too. Oh. Yeah. All right. Get this one. Yep. Wow. That is a monster. You gonna pick him up? No. Huh? No, Wait. I might be getting a bite on that one. You gonna pick him up? Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, we're keeping him. How do I pick him up? Just grab him by his tail right there, uh -huh. and then you could yep underneath his little gill. Oh yeah. That is Here, you wanna walk? This is this is Sophie's Pompano that she just took a nap for like two hours and she just wakes up and reels this freaking dude in. Check that out. I'm gonna get a measurement on him. I'm gonna say he's probably like 16. She probably beat me in the Pompano race. Sophie just caught that Pompano on just a nice chunk of shrimp she was getting a bite before that and i told her just be patient it's a pretty big piece of shrimp and she was patient and got the biggest biggest fish of the day probably but yes that is our target species for today so that's that's uh that's the goal accomplished so now let's see if we can catch some more. Hopefully I can catch a bigger one because now she has one up me since the last pompano that I caught. So hopefully she goes back to sleep. Oh yeah, he's on there. Little bitty guy. I guess Sophie's gonna catch all the big fish today and I'm gonna catch all the small fish. Alright, let's let this little dude go. Bye bud. <laughs> 